I'm very new to Fast AI. And uh, Fast AI is this great library with uh, free video lessons online and comes with uh, many great notebooks, such as uh, this one is to do, uh, to, to help build a model which will sharpen images, right? And these models sometimes you know, take a while to build. For example, this one, when ran on a uh, single GPU, it took 10 minutes, but here I only have four and a half minutes. So what, what are we are gonna do about it? Um, there are different ways to do it. And, uh, hold on. Okay. and one architecture is the uh, distributed data parallel. Uh, Fast AI is built on uh, PyTorch, and PyTorch has pretty good DDP support. And writing a Fast AI application using a DDP is very trivial. However, um, all the great Jupyter uh, notebooks in the Fast AI lessons, as the Fast AI folks say, it just doesn't work in the notebook. So I thought, hey, if, as more people have uh, multi GPU machines at home, how are we going to take advantage of that? of both the interactive environment and the uh, multiple GPU. So I thought I should uh, do something about it. And I start uh, researching around. I thought, oh, do I need to use async I.O.? I'm not too familiar with it. Um, this should be a solved problem, you know, mul managing multiple process in the Jupyter Notebook. Uh, in fact, it has been done. So, in the uh, Lawrence National Berkeley Lab, um, they actually do distributed training using a package called IPy Parallel. And IPy Parallel has been around for quite a few years. Uh, basically here, from a notebook process, you can say, I will start a cluster on another host, and behind the scene, the back end, uh, in this research lab, they use MPI. So I thought, hey, can I just use those processes to run fast AI and uh, uh, PyTorch DDP. So, pardon me for borrowing the slide from them because I'm not a great uh, PowerPoint engineer. So, and I'd really like this chance. <laughs> so, what I build is a very tiny tool. Uh, it's a IPython uh, extension. Uh, so, user can control setup, uh, running execution of a cell either in local namespace or remotely on a DDP, a multi-process group, using those percent, single percent, and double percent magics. And the basic commands are pretty simple, uh, directing, uh, creating the uh, DDP group, and then designate where to run the cell. Uh, or, as programmers, we all prefer to be lazy, and if you think you want to run everything uh, subsequently on the remote um, cluster, you can just say auto dip on and off. And if you want to move data, uh, you can do DI push or DI pull. And these numbers are, these are uh, fast AI notebook, lesson notebooks. And these are the timings I obtain. Uh, you can see various degrees of speed up. And uh, right now I'm running, running this one in, in background. This, uh, so, uh, sorry, this one, this lesson seven. Is, uh, hopefully by the, by the end of this talk, it should have finished. But not everything is smooth. For example, um, some of the models don't, don't see any uh, speed up, and one may have uh, accuracy problem. I'm still looking into that. And the, uh, one of the model is, again, is a generative adversarial model actually see a slowdown, is a linear slowdown. So, so let's see. Uh, I'm, okay, this is, this is uh, the notebook currently running on three GPUs, as you see here. And in, in the beginning, uh, you saw that this model used to train in uh, about 10 minutes or so. Uh, with this, using three GPUs, the actual time will come, come to about uh, four minutes. And it's a great experience learning all the powerful uh, features uh, and the hacks one can do with Python as well as, uh, I, I was really impressed by the uh, hooks and callback, callback architecture in Jupyter and FastAI. They allow a very flexible designs and extensibility. And of course, there's complexity dealing with multiple processes. And looking forward, I'm really excited about uh, porting this tool or extending it to support the latest version of FastAI libraries, which is the version two, and experiencing development using the MVDEV, uh, 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 which is a literary programming approach, uh, supposed to be highly productive. So 
Uh, the code is here at, the GitHub, at this GitHub, and I'll put this slide on, and I welcome any feedback and help. Thank you.